Welcome to DOS Geek. So the first thing is we're reviewing the Void RGB Elite Wireless headset here. This is a $99 gaming headset and you're listening to me on the microphone of this headset. The whole video won't be through this microphone, but I wanted you to be able to experience a couple of things. Number one, are you seeing any latency between what I'm saying and the voice coming out, meaning my lips moving and the sound that you're hearing? Is there any latency between that? It's 2.4 gigahertz receiver that we have. So if there's any latency, that's something that can be really important for gaming because having that sound latency could mean the difference between if your friend dies or lives. Uh, we're recording an OBS at 59.94 frames per second. The camera Sony mirrorless is 59.94. So hopefully the sound is able to keep up with that video here. The question we're going to answer in here is not only is this a good pair of headphones for the $100 mark, but also do you need a gaming headset? I mean, the lines between a gaming headset and music headset has changed. Even these earbuds from Bose produce great sound overall. So do you really need to have a separate gaming headset? And the answer is no, of course not. You can get away with using earbuds or any headphones that you have. Some of the things that a gaming headset focuses on, again, mic, easily able, accessible to be able to mute, the connection type to be able to connect to the type of devices easily that you want, the PS4 in this case, and your PC, or if you wanted a Switch or Xbox, you'd look for a device that has that connectivity specific for that to make it convenient for you. Also, of course, the surround sound capabilities of a gaming headset. So the surround sound is really creating that spatial awareness is one of the key differentiators that you want to look for in a gaming headset. But there are a lot of music headphones that have that as well. So you could kind of argue this both ways. Now the gaming headset is going to be made for comfort. You're going to have this microphone. You're going to have RGB. A lot of music headsets have that. Not all of them though. And I did a video on that spatial sound where in Windows you would use something like the I think they call it Windows Sonic and they also have DTS and Dolby that you can spend some extra money on to enhance your gaming experience but in Linux we don't have those tools or proprietary so we have something called pulse effects however that you could use to create some of those same effects in the software that you would expect from that Windows Sonic and I created such a profile for me and you could go check out that video and see that whole sequence of how I set up pulse effects to do that so now let's take a look at these void RGB Elite Wireless and see if it's something that you should pick up for yourself. We're going to get into it right after you click subscribe because we've got to get to that 15,000 subscribers. We really should be getting to 20,000. Let's start with 15,000. So I'm going to wait right here. You roll in your eyes. I see you with the attitude. You're like, I don't subscribe to nobody. Just just move your little mouse. Click subs click it. It's free. Serious. Just click, subs click subscribe. Let's get into the video. But Das Geek, can I listen to my music like Taylor Swift and also do movies with a gaming headset and not just video games? And the answer is, of course you can. Enjoy yourself just like I got caught doing there. You can see that the band stretches really far on these. We got it over the Master Chief helmet. We've got a power button, a mute button. We've got a rocker switch at the bottom. The whole headset has mostly plastic, but high quality plastic with metal in the right parts, such as the hinges and the bands underneath are metal. When you lift the arm up, it also mutes. Now in Linux, it just gives you audio cues, but in Windows, you actually get voice cues. See the markings on the band along with the nice cushion. So you make sure your left and right are stretched out evenly, which is just a really nice touch there. Really the quality we've come to expect from Corsair, I think in this $99 headset is quite impressive. Usually things that a lot of companies overlook, they nailed here. Now the microphone was okay as you heard. You could hear a lot of that breathing as I'm taking breaths in between. Even though I'm talking fast, you might not do that in a game. But I think that's probably an area they definitely need to work on. As far as the specs go, you get 40 foot of wireless range. You get up to 16 hours of battery life here. You've got 32 ohms. You've got a 50 millimeter driver in here. So the 32 ohms, anything under 50, a consumer device can push. But of course, you have to have this giant dongle here. Hopefully they can make that little dongle smaller in the future, a little wireless receiver, small enough that I'm not gonna hit it and end up breaking a the laptop USB port and things like that. So let's take a look at the website and what they talk about themselves. Of course, the 20 hertz to 30,000 hertz, that's generally accepted in the audiophile community as 
what you what the human ear is capable of hearing. Anything between that 20 hertz, the lower end, of course, is your bass, all the way up to your 30,000 hertz, higher end being your treble and your mids in between there. Now, anything below that, they say, can be felt versus heard. So a comparable music headset can go between 5 hertz, say, and 30,000 hertz. So that 5 hertz is considered something that could be felt more than heard. But 20,000 or 20 hertz to 30,000 hertz is definitely acceptable. Very good. You've got 50 millimeter high density audio drivers, the surround sound, of course, that we've talked about in here, and just a lot of great quality in the build. They talk about the total comfort, the memory foam, ear pads, the plush memory foam kind of around the headband so you don't get tired and hurt. And of course, these definitely stretch really, really well. Of course, you can. If you had a lot of money, you get the Corsair chair, the Corsair headset, set, the Corsair computer, you get a Corsair <laughs> RGB stand. You don't need all of that. Don't, don't get all that. 16 hours of battery life, 40 foot range we talked about. You know, it's a really nice headset. Discord certified, of course. I mean, who wouldn't want that? So it's a really good headset for 99 bucks. There are other headsets out there like Arctic that they say, uh, they have a lineup, I think one that starts about 130, maybe it's the Arctic 6, that a lot of people say are better than these. They have a better microphone because you could hear kind of when I was breathing and things, some of that sound, the microphone wasn't perfect, that omnidirectional mic. So there could be some improvement there. I'd love to see Corsair support Linux with some drivers. So we got the full operating system suite, Mac OS, Linux, and Windows all supported with their drivers. Some of the audio profiles that they've created for people to utilize and things like that. But overall, at $99, I'm very happy. I've had a lot of fun gaming and playing with these. I definitely wouldn't tell people not to get them. If you don't, if you play a lot of first-person shooters or you want to really get into your games and kind of close everything out, a good gaming headset can make a big difference. And this would be one I would put on your list, not necessarily the best one, but definitely far from the worst one out there to put on your list is something to check out. Tell Santa Claus this is what you want for Christmas is the new Void RGB Elite Corsair headset here. I think I'm going to keep this one around. I've just really enjoyed it. I have a link, affiliate link down below if you want to pick one up. I also want to talk about the fact that Bitwarden sponsors this channel. Bitwarden sponsors the entire Destination Linux network. If you don't have a password manager, what's wrong with you? You're probably using the same password for multiple accounts and getting hacked is going to be a disaster for you. So go get a good password manager and the best one out there Without a doubt, I used them, and so did pretty much everyone on the Destination Linux network before they became a sponsor. Uh, it's just the best password manager on the planet. They have two-factor authentication, $10 a year for their premium account. Go to bitwarden.com slash DLN. That tells them we sent you there. Bitwarden is going to allow you to make complex passwords, store them in a place that's secure. Not only they're open source so everyone can audit it, but they get third-party companies to audit and make sure your passwords stay safe and secure. You can also self-host if you want as well. Well worth $10 a year, but you can sign up for free right now. Bitwarden.com slash DLN. Go check that out. Thank you to the entire community for supporting this channel and continuing to see it grow. Let's hit that 15,000 subscriber mark. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.